Hey, all right, friends. Welcome back to Stylish Grease Monkey. Um, I haven't posted or uploaded a video for some time, so I think I'd take this opportunity now that things have slowed down a little bit. Uh, you know already that I'm busy with my projects. I don't know what the... Well, the torque specs for this is... I need to go... Right now, I have three Jeeps that I'm selling. Uh, so that's what I've been doing for the last month. Now, the Jeeps are, you know, not a hard project, but there are complex things that I have to do uh, that takes a lot of my time, you know. From the time I get up until the time sun goes down, I have been working on these Jeeps. So, not a problem, right? This video is not about that. But something happened lately uh, that made me think about a lot of things and one is cleaning my closet so I turned 50 a uh, few about a week ago uh, and in the meantime I kind of just had a little reflection you know trying to appreciate the things that I have already uh, and of course not ruin them uh, and then maintain it you know what I mean uh, so along with that this channel right here I know that this channel is stylish grease monkey about heritage style and things like that um, but lately I've been thinking uh, maybe I really need to kind of slow down you know aside from honing into the heritage clothing piece hone more into what I'm going to keep for a while and what I'm going to get rid of so with that being said I decided to clean up my closet uh, here's the before and what it looks like the very first thing that needs to happen is for everything that's a mess in there needs to come out so I know exactly what I need to keep but you have to check out the pile I had so far guys and these clothes just came from my it just came from the floor and uh, yeah I'm sorry for the mess but that's pretty much what I have so far here um, when it comes to my salvage jeans they're up there I don't own a lot I'm pretty sure there are guys that own more than I do uh, but that's that's pretty much the pile of it right there when it comes to salvage jeans and then later on I'm gonna get through the rest of my boots and they're pretty much tucked in everywhere like the closet under the bed where to find space I don't have a huge uh, house it's very comfortable enough for my wife and I but I do have a lot of stuff that's just my god I need to get rid of it relaxing for me smoking a good cigar is relaxing so I had one on my birthday and this time I'm gonna smoke this Macanudo Thames someone gave me and drink a little iced tea while I'm doing it while I'm talking to you so I received a comment on one of my videos saying that I I guess I am bragging too much about things that uh, is out of reach of a lot of people and that this style the heritage clothing had peaked 15 years ago um, you know I, I mean I don't usually take that lightly so whatever my response was is my response and I'm, I'm not gonna back off of it uh, but I also want everyone to know that I rarely get upset on comments like that. Why? Because I know that heritage clothing like this is not about mainstream style. It's not about when it peaks and when it dies down. It's the fact that something like this you can wear or be in style forever. <laughs> Because if you think about it, it is a homage to the clothing that was uh, used back in the 1800s, 1900s by American workers. You know what I mean? So we're paying homage to that. And it's an easy style. It's not a style that you just, you know, one year wear and then the next you go to another style. That's what mainstream style is all about. I have nothing against mainstream style. I have infused some of that in my style now about heritage clothing because I do wear, you know, shorts, t-shirt, things like that. 
that are designed today and really probably has nothing to do with heritage clothing, but it's cool to wear, you know. So I do that. I have nothing against that. But again, my focus as an older gentleman really is to be a classy dresser, you know, uh, not just with my casual style, jeans, t-shirt, boots, but also with my suits, if I wear a formal attire and things like that. Uh, and yeah, don't let this one right here kind of fool you because um, for, for the most part of my life, I've been clean cut and this is the only time I can do this is that I feel like I should, right? Because I have not been like this my entire life. I definitely have a problem and I need to fix it, which is, it's borderline hoarding in my opinion. <laughs> so why get rid of clothes? Uh, one is to make space for new ones, but again, I'm not doing that this year. I don't, I think I'm going to stop buying things just to see where I'm at. Not in a sense of minimalizing stuff, but just, I have too much stuff, right? And I'm getting rid of majority of them and my point with getting rid of it really is if I have not seen it for six months to a year, if I have not touched it, I have not seen it, it's going. <laughs> Just to try to keep it simple, you know what I mean? Uh, whether they're expensive, cheap, whatever have you, apparently I don't need it so I'm getting rid of it. That's just the way it goes. Good cigar, Macanudo. It goes along with other things in my yard. I have a lot of projects and this year my goal is to get through them, especially the classic Broncos back there. Uh, and, and then hoping that I would, sh you know, I can share it with you. I don't normally make videos of my vehicles because um, that's not my niche really, you know what I mean? And besides I get so busy that I, I can't make videos and do what I need to do at the same time. Uh, you know, I'm the only one that makes my videos. I'm the only one that shoots, you know, so it is what it is. But let's go back to um, what I kept out of the things that I got rid of and what I'm going to keep from now on. All right, guys. Pretty embarrassing, but this pile right here is what's going to go to savers or be donated. It's just, I don't, you know, I don't touch it. I've never seen so many clothes that I don't touch. I mean, the whole year passed, I didn't touch it, so it's going. Some of it will going to go as a rag downstairs so I can use it for working on cars. Well, check out my closet. These are just the clothes that I, these are just the clothes that I cleared. Um, I haven't touched any of my shoes yet. You see some of those in the bottom there, but uh, pretty much the daily things that I wear. Um, tucked inside that are my suits that I will eventually wear on special occasions. And then I organize my salvage jeans up there. Uh, I, I also own jeans that aren't selfish, of course, but 501 jeans, uh, khaki pants, things I wear occasionally. And then, of course, you'll see on my, the very left side there are the shorts I wear on a daily. My workout clothes are somewhere in there. But like I said, these aren't, uh, it does not include my shoes. All right, guys, I just want to point out, though, right, that I am not bragging about the things I have. This video, this channel as a whole is made for entertainment purposes. And, of course, you know, I share my views in hopes that some men see it that way. Uh, you take the good and then you just leave the bad, right? I know not everybody is going to be on, you know, taking on style like this. 
but for those of you that are a let's discuss it let's talk about it right because this is what we find and we're comfortable with it so just something so what did I keep right let's start with the boots first because I think that's an easy easier um, discussion point uh, I'm not gonna go over the good bad and the ugly on these things I'll just go quickly on what they are uh, and maybe just a short bit and why I'm keeping it so first foremost first and foremost this is the Iron Ranger all right from Red Wing 8085 different than the 8111 this is the 8085. Enough said. I don't really have to say anything good, bad, or whatever about the Iron Ranger because it is a classic. Keeping that forever. Non Red Wing. I'm just going to go over it real quick. This Thor Good right here. 8 inch boots. Probably one of the most comfortable working shoes that I've worn. Steel toe. Great for traveling. Love it. The next one. This is not in any particular order, by the way. The 875. Mock toe from Red Wing. 875. Why am I keeping the 875? Well, this is probably the first Mokto that Red Wing made popular, and I've always wanted one. And now that I have one, I am not letting it go. 875. It goes with any outfit when it comes to heritage clothing. Uh, there are versions of this, by the way, in uh, longer or taller boots, like uh, an 8 inch version. Uh, this is a 6 inch version. That's what. I have 875. The next one, one of the toughest pair of Maktos I've owned, 1907 from Red Wing as well. 1907, I have a video of that, uh, testing if it's waterproof or not, but I have a pair that's beat up to hell, and that's why I'm keeping one of those around. Triple stitching all around, it's just a great pair of boots. The last one, if I want to dress nice, is this 8138 from Red Wing. Beautiful, beautiful color. I love it. So those are the pairs of boots that I'm keeping from now on until forever. I don't know if I'm going to add on to more to it or not, but I'm satisfied with what I have. I also own other pairs of shoes obviously formal pair of shoes informal slippers tennis shoes running shoes all kinds of other things but as far as boots that's it I'll check this out guys I am changing the valve cover gasket lower upper intake gaskets because the oil leak on this 3.8 liter on a Jeep but you all know that's what I do as well as changing the calipers because the calipers are sticking. I have kept a few of my non salvage jeans as well. Uh, I'm going to go over them real quick here, but mainly my focus obviously is salvage jeans. And um, even though I really wanted to kind of add more to my collection, I'm really kind of satisfied with what I have, right? Um, I feel like I shouldn't add any more, uh, but we'll see. But for now, I got rid of a lot of jeans that don't matter. You know what I mean? Uh, the jeans that just ill-fitting, I haven't seen it for a while, or just plainly just I don't like it. I don't know why I'm keeping it. So, But these are the ones that I kept. So first, 501 jeans in this color. Great. Size 34, 32. It's good. Um, another 501 jeans in black, rock and roll. <laughs> this is a classic polo Ralph Lauren 
built, I think, in the 80s and 90s, got a hold of it from a store in Japan. Very cool. Look at it. Mm. I think she's a classic. Non salvage, but pretty cool. Keeping that very comfortable pair of jeans. And of course, gotta have khakis, right? So, spellbound khakis. From Japan as well, Japan jeans. Those are the non salvage that I'm keeping. As far as salvage jeans, before I go to, you know, go over the salvage jeans, there are salvage jeans that I've got rid of before because they just don't fit well or I, I didn't like the cut. Now, I keep majority of them, and why? Because the older it gets, the more used it gets, the more it creates a persona, right? And, and it matches my style. So that's why I'm keeping salvage jeans. Now, if I want a nice, dark looking pair of jeans, I can probably just go to the store and buy me a, I don't know, a cheapo <laughs> Levi's, right? So, so what did I keep when it comes to salvage jeans? First, Again, not in particular order. This is a sugarcane pair of jeans. I made a video of this. 1980s style. It's baggy, but I have it cuffed and uh, kind of turned in on the bottom. So very, very comfortable. I mean, it is broken in and it's comfortable. Selvage ID, real quick here, is, uh, I believe it's blue. Selvage ID is blue on this sugarcane. Love, love, love this pair of jeans. Beat up, but it's really good. The next one is Self Edge from Flathead. This is the SE05 BSP 3436. Um, I'm kind of on the edge with this pair of jeans right here. It has, um, I guess, probably one of the earlier uh, salvage that I bought, and I don't really know much about sand fries, unsand fries, one wash, you know, shrinkage and things like that. So all throughout use, all throughout our, my uh, wearing wearing of the pair of jeans, it actually shrunk. So I originally size 34 fits me well, but now it's more like a 32 and a half or something like that. So it's tight. I might get rid of it pretty soon. I don't know what to do with it really. I rarely wear it because it's, it's just, just tight. <laughs> Um, and I didn't want to deal with that. But then again, maybe I'll lose a little bit of weight here. I've been running a lot lately, and uh, we'll see, right? This right here is the 14 and a half ounce uh, Selvage from Bravestar. Now, if you've seen my old video, uh, another mistake I made, which I like to share on my videos, is that I soaked this in hot water and it ruined the leather patch. But guess what I did? It now has a custom leather patch. So this is a San Fry's 14 and a half, size 34. And uh, throughout use, and soak and wash, it has loosened up a little bit. This is the reason why sometimes it's good to read and uh, research before you buy, uh, before you purchase a pair of jeans. But the good thing about Brave Star is that they are a salvage in which they are affordable. You know what I mean? So this particular one is made by the Cone Mills over in North Carolina before they closed down, and uh, Brave Star got a hold of the materials and made jeans out of it so that's that i would like to follow that with another brave star pair of jeans and this one right here is the 21.5 ounce japanese savage from brave star yeah Uh, 
I've definitely talked about this pair of jeans a lot. Uh, it's because I'm I'm trying to follow how it fades, how it's used, how it ages, and then I'm sharing that with you. That's why I talk a lot about about this. So, uh, you also know that I don't wear a lot of jeans here in Hawaii. It's too hot. Only when I ride, so it may take a little while for it to get to that fade and get to that soft stage but it will get there and when it gets there you'll be right there watching watching me wear it and talk about it It's a company that makes drinks and they make iced tea as well. But this iced tea right here is not from, from them. It, it's a Hawaii iced tea on a can. Really good though. Very good on a hot day. And of course, this cigar is superb. Next one. This is Japan Blue Jeans Salvage. I've had this for a little while. I think this is a 19 ounce uh, Japan Blue Jeans. Uh, it has faded really well. Uh, it's still pretty blue though. Uh, I like the cut of it. I like the size and love it. By the way guys, all of my salvage jeans I always get in button flies. I think that's just a classic thing. The next two are somewhat related but before I go there I'm gonna talk about this cheap Uniqlo salvage that I've also talked about in, on my channel um, this is made by Uniqlo of course um, and this is like a stretchy salvage jean material the salvage is all the way through so it is real salvage uh, the only thing I don't like about this is that it is made in mass. You know, it doesn't have that, um, just in my opinion, right? It doesn't have, it's not backed up by heritage. I know Uniqlo has been around for a while, but not as long as, you know, uh, the salvage jeans that are built in the jean street in Japan. You know what I mean? So, that's the only reason, but I'm keeping it because it is soft. It is really good when I want to be nice and clean. That's what I'll wear as far as salvage is concerned. The last two salvage jeans that I'm keeping. First is the Ironheart 666S. Mm. I've talked a lot about these jeans. One, one of my favorite for sure. Definitely one of my favorite. If I have to keep one out of all of this, maybe two. <laughs> this 666S as well as its brother, the 777XHS and also maybe the 21.5 Brave Star just because of the price point but if you want a pair of salvage I tell you Ironheart is the way to go this right here is full of heritage love it last the heaviest duty pair of salvage I have is the 21 I'm sorry Last is, but not the least, of course, is the heaviest salvage I own. It's 20, 25 ounce 77 XHS from Ironheart. What can I say? Just like the Iron Ranger from Red Wing, the 25 ounce Ironheart is just, it's amazing, right? Uh, now, there are, they make different kinds of styles in 25 ounce as well. And so far I have the 777 because the cut is similar to the 666S. I like the low cut pair of jeans. I wear it low on my, on my waist. Um, but to a 25 ounce, that thing is just amazing. Especially 
when I'm out riding my motorcycle, you know, I just feel so secure, <laughs> feel so safe with it. If I do fall or, you know, uh, I won't, I'll be protected by the 25 ounce. Now, styling out is pretty cool as well. You know, uh, that, that cuff, uh, three inch cuffs on an Iron Ranger and a pair of t-shirt. That's all I really need right there. That's all you really need, right? So, but those are things that I'm going to keep personally. I'm, I'm sure for some of you that have been thinking of cleaning your closet for a little while, you also have some in there that you want to keep and some that you want to get rid of. So, you know, whatever that is, I would say I encourage you to just do it, right? I do this once in a while, but it's just so happened that it's my 50th birthday as well. So I really had to dig deep and think about what I'm going to get rid of and what I'm going to keep. So I hope in the next five to ten years, these things right here are going to stay. Uh, maybe I'll add a few more to my collection. Uh, but I'll try to make a video like this maybe every year because we need to clean up, right? We need to really dig in there and just have like spring cleaning. Uh, and it, it, it feels good, right? Mentally, it feels good. Uh, it doesn't feel good in the wallet, obviously, because sometimes you buy these things and then you make a mistake. You don't wear it and you get rid of it. That, that is an expense. But that's the reason why I am trying not to buy anymore to make that mistake or making sure that whatever I buy is what I want to keep, right? But I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I'm going to continue to smoke the rest of my cigar and enjoy it. Drink my iced tea here. Um, leave me a comment to see if you like this video or not or whatever video you want me to make in the future. But that's all I have for you this week. Aloha.